On to the second part of our video on the repair of a KDL-22BX200. Uh, um, if you recall from the last uh, video, I was having problems with this transformer here. And uh, I was concerned about the, reading, the uh, voltages out and the resistance readings on the secondary side of the transformers. I think I stated then that there would be shorter turns on the output. What I'm thinking now is that one of the uh, windings has gone open circuit and uh, possibly getting arcing between the open circuit and that, that that is probably giving me the high resistance reading on one of them. Um, on this side here I'm getting something like 12k and that changes and this side here is open. Sorry, one second, no. No. 1k1. Now, I did manage to get a new transformer from Sony and the part number is 994803316. Um, and I'll just take it out of the box now. And here's the transformer. Okay. And here we have it for four uh, connections again. And what I'm reading here is 1K15. Uh, uh, um, both outputs are reading 1K, roughly about 1K, whilst our um, outputs of this one are reading 12K on one of them. 1k and the other. So there's a good indication we have a problem with that. Will it cure the fault uh, the, 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 the of the power supply? The only way I can tell now is by replacing it and see what happens. I'm going to unsolder this transformer now and the first thing I do is I normally uh, freshen up the solder a bit to remove it. It just makes it life easier. this uh, solder remover here. It's made by Howard Electronics in America. Um, SC7000Z. Uh, it's been served me by now for the past couple of years. It's blocked every now and then. Feel the pin being able to move from the solders. Still holding on a bit.
come out, just fill it back with solder again. Start fresh. Okay, it is still sticking there too. It seems to be holding by the uh, rivets, two old rivets here. I just see this price it loose. Is that side done? Okay. I'll start out. Let's do a comparison now of the two of them. Uh, 41 is here on the left hand side and we get our meter if you can see that you can see that will read 1k1 1k1 now we go to the 41, 11k, and 1k2. So now we just stick in the new one, and uh, let's see what happens. It goes in easier than it comes out. solder on it and push it up so it's fully home. Just clean off the board with some cleaner. Give it a the flux residue. And we'll stick it in the uh, TV. Just put this PCB in, slide into its uh, connector. We have three silver screws then to put back in. Um, Screws, just a screw here, should be in there. Inside the okay. our lamp connections.
pretty uh, short, so they'll only go in one way. If you try to put them around one, they're just going to be a bit tight. Mm. So I'll bring your connection to the button board. And let's now we're in a position now to switch it on. Fashion. Please wait. Okay, it took its time of coming up. Uh, please insert USB device. It has no signal to it, but as you can see, we have a, um, a working set now. Uh, let's see. Here we are with a test uh, screen, and uh, as we, you can see, we have a sound. Um, now we're going to put the back on it and uh, complete the repair. all around. And we have a little bag of screws. Three screws at the bottom. Okay, that's it complete. Uh, thanks for watching.